Hello everybody, I Neetu Mane M, faculty from Tripoli Department of Sai Vidya Institute of Technology, welcome you all to the Basic Electrical Engineering Laboratory of First Year Engineering course. In today's session, we will learn Experiment 4, Two-Way and Three-Way Control of a Lamp. In today's session, the aim of the experiment is to verify two-way and three-way control of a lamp and also form its truth table. Two-way switching connection is used to control electrical appliances from two different places by using two-way switches. The most common use of two-way switching connection is staircase wiring where a light point can be controlled from two different locations. One switch may be installed at the ground floor at the beginning of the stairs and the other switch may be installed at the upper part where the stair ends that is in the first floor. The light point can be controlled by using these two switches. The two-way control circuit consists of an input AC supply, two switches S1, S2 and a lamp. Now let us conduct the experiment practically. As seen in the circuit diagram, we have an input AC supply which is single phase 230 volts and 50 hertz frequency. So these are the input leads of the circuit and switch S1 and S2. This is switch S1 which has three terminals in it, common 1 and 1 dash. Switch S2 similar to S1, three terminals common 2 and 2 dash indicated for the purpose of uh, showing the difference between switch S1 and S2 and a lamp which has two terminals. Let us, let us rig up the circuit practically. So from the circuit we can see that from the line of an AC supply, the, switch is connect, uh, the wire is connected to a common terminal of switch S1. So this is the line terminal of the single phase input. So from line to the common terminal of switch S1. Then we have 1 connected to 2. From 1 of S1 connected to 2. Then from 1 dash it is connected to 2 dash. Next. From the common terminal of switch S2 it is connected to one of the leads of the lamp. So S2 switch common terminal from here common terminal is connected to one end of a lamp. And from the lamp the other end of the lamp from other end of the lamp, it is connected to the neutral terminal back. So from here, it will be connected to neutral terminal of the AC input. Now, let us switch on the circuit and see how the circuit performs. Now, let us learn how to read the switch. Whichever side is the switch pressed, we note that particular number. So when the switch is pressed this side, it is indicating 1. When the switch is pressed this side, it indicates 1 dash. Similarly with the switch S2. Now let us switch on the circuit. So now we can see that the switch is placed, S1 is placed at 1 and S2 is placed at 2. We see that the lamp glowing. Coming to the other case, when switch S1 is at 1 and switch S2 is placed at 2 dash, we see that the lamp switched off. Next case, when 1 dash when the switch S1 is moved to 1 dash and switch S2 is moved to 2, we have the lamp which did not glow. When switch S1 dash is connected and switch S2 is connected at 2 dash, we have the lamp glowing. So let us understand how the circuit works. Now let us understand how the lamp glow and for which all cases the lamp was glowing. In case 1, when the switch S1 was at 1 and switch S2 was at 2, we saw that the line terminal, uh, line from the AC supply was connected to common. Common gets connected to 1 because switch 1 is connected to 1 and switch 2 is connected to 2. And from here, the current has a path, complete closed path for flowing. We know that the current flows only in a closed circuit and hence the uh, uh, lamp was glowing. And uh, coming to the case 2, when we move the switch S1 to 1 dash position and S2 was retained at 2, we could see the circuit behaving like this. 
from line it was connected to common so the current enters to common from common it enters one dash because the switch is connected at a switch s1 is connected at one dash and now the current does not have a path to flow because the switch s2 is connected at two and not two dash and hence now there is a open path there is a um, hence this becomes an open circuit and the current does not flow in an open circuit and hence the lamp did not glow. Now let us note down the true table uh, for this uh, two-way control circuit. We saw the cases where uh, switch S1 was placed at 1 and 1 dash, switch S2 was placed at 2 and 2 dash. Right? So putting them in combinations, we notice that when switch S1 was at 1 and switch S2 was at 2, the lamp glued. And when switch S1 was at 1 dash and S2 was at 2 dash, the lamp glued. And the other cases, the lamp went off. This was because now, only in a closed uh, circuit condition, the current completes the path in the circuit and hence the lamp glue. But in an open circuit, this does not happen. That is why the lamp was off. Now, let us learn a three-way control circuit in this experiment. In addition to a two-way control circuit, we have an intermediate switch in addition to the previous circuit. The addition of this intermediate switch allows a two-way switched lamp to be controlled from a third position as well. That is why the name three-way control of a lamp. So let us understand what all this, the circuit comprise of. We have input AC supply, single phase 230 volts, 50 hertz, switch S1, S2 and an additional switch S3 along with the lamp. Now let us conduct the three-way control of a lamp experiment practically. As seen in the circuit diagram, we have an input AC supply with two leads, L and N, line and neutral. Then we have switch S1 with three terminals, switch S1 with three terminals, one, one dash and com. Intermediate switch S3 has four terminals, A, B, C and D. So this is the intermediate switch which will have an internal connection and these are the terminals A, B, C and D. Switch S2 with three terminals, two, two dash and com. And then we have a lamp with two leads. Now let us conduct, uh, connect the circuit. As seen in the intermediate switch S3 can be connected in two ways. One is called as a straight connection and the other one is called as a cross connection. These are the internal connections. When switch A connects to, uh, when the terminal A connects to B and the terminal C connects to D internally, that is called as a straight connection. So it forms a straight uh, path for, uh, from the point 1 to 2 and then 1 dash to 2 dash respectively. In a cross connection, A gets connected to D and B gets connected to C. So we have the current flow path from 1 to A, then to D and then to 2 dash. Similarly, in the other line, it's 1 dash to C, then to B and then to 2. So now, let us con connect the circuit for straight connection. Now, from line, we have the path till common. So, take a lead, take a wire from, from line to, this is the switch S1, the common of switch S1. Then, from 1 of switch, it is connected to A. So 1 to A. And then from 1 dash to C. From 1 dash to C. And then from the other side, B to because A, B, C and D are internally connected, we need not have to connect any wires in between these terminals. Please note. Next, we have D connected to 2 dash. D connected to 2 dash. And then, from the other end of switch S2, common point, we have one wire that goes to lamp. So, from common, it goes to one end of a lamp. And then, from other end of the lamp, we have a wire that comes to the neutral point. Please note. So this completes the circuit connection. Now let us switch on the circuit.
and see how the circuit behaves. So now the straight connection circuit is ready. When the switch S1 is at 1 and switch S2 is at 2, we see that the lamp glowing. In a straight connection, internally terminal A is connected to B and hence it makes a free path for the current from one end to the other end. So from switch S1 to S2. Similarly, in the uh, parallel line, we have 1 dash and 2 dash connected because C is connected to D internally. Now, uh, the next case, when switch S1 is at 1 and switch S2 is at 2 dash. Now, we see that switch S1 is connected to 2, but for 2 dash, we do not have any path. And hence, there, this is an open circuit. When switch, the third case, when switch S1 is at 1 dash and switch S2 is at 2, we see again there is an um, open, uh, open circuit connection and hence the lamp is not glowing. When switch S1, the fourth case, when switch S1 is at 1 dash and switch S2 is at 2 dash, we see that the lamp glows because the common is connected to 1 dash, switch S1's common is connected to 1 dash and switch S2's common is connected to 2 dash. So the current has a path to flow and complete the circuit. So this is how it goes. It completes the circuit and glows the lamp. Now let us see the truth table for this experiment, straight connection. So forming the truth table for the straight connection of a three-way control of a lamp, since switch 3 was at straight connection position, it is indicated as S throughout. And we saw that the lamp was glowing up two cases when S1 was at 1 and S2 was at 2. The lamp glew. And the second case when S1 was at 1 dash and S2 was at 2 dash. The lamp glue. Now, let us uh, conduct the cross connection. Uh, uh, let us place the switch S3 at cross connection and conduct the same experiment and see what are the results. Retaining the same circuit of the straight connection of a three way control of a lamp, let us now conduct the cross connection uh, uh, experiment of a three way control of a lamp. So, in this, we just change the position of the switch S3 to the other, uh, other position and we notice that switch S, uh, internally, the terminal A gets connected to D and terminal C gets connected to B and hence it forms a path for the current to flow from 1 to 2 dash and uh, the parallel line will have a path from 1 dash to 2. Now, let us switch on the circuit and see what is the output. So in the first case, when switch S1 is at 1 and switch S2 is at 2 in a cross connection, we see that the lamp is off. Second case, when switch S1 is at 1 and switch S2 is at 2 dash, now we see that the lamp is glowing. The third case, when switch S1 is at 1 dash and switch S2 is at 2, we see the lamp glowing. Fourth case, when switch S1 is at 1 dash and switch S2 is at 2 dash, we see that the lamp is off. Now let us form the truth table and compare the results. Now forming the truth table for the cross connection uh, position of switch S3. Since S3 is in cross connection, it is indicated as C. So we can notice it is indicated as C. Now we saw the cases where the lamp was on for two uh, incidences. One was when switch S1 was at 1 and switch S2 was at 2 dash, the lamp glue. And the other case, when S1 was at 1 dash and S2 was at 2, the lamp again glue. So from this we can understand that in comparing the previous results, the straight connection and cross connection, the cases where the lamp was on in the previous case, uh, in the straight connection, we had the lamp off in this, in this connection. And similarly, uh, the other way, vice versa. So, from this experiment, we can understand that a single lamp was controlled by using switches S1, depending on the position of switch S3 and then switch S2. So, we controlled, we learned how to control a lamp, a single lamp, by using three switches at three different places, and hence is the experiment two way control circuit of a lamp and three way control circuit of a lamp. Hope you learned it. Thank you for watching.